This is Pat Gunn, and we're playing uh, Skyrim. And we are reloading in the middle of the combat here. And a combat that is not going amazingly well. Although, it looks like we're pulling ahead. And again, we, we collect Thalmar helmets because they are useful for enchantments. Not the hardened helms, but the uh, the other helmets. So a limited subset of the Thelmer gear is actually decent. Most of it is not. So there's probably a sad story of whose sack that is. This is one of those elevators. Now, I generally like to use the elevators because at the top <clears throat> there are generally things that you can unlock that make it a lot easier to get back down. And for a lot of these ru uh, ruins, there are multiple ways to get back up. So we might not be uh, passing back this way. So we might as well take care of unlocking it now. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what's going on. Oh, there's some more. Karis eggs for later alchemy. And here's the lever that we need to do to open that gate. So we pass by here. This is right near the entrance uh, to this um, area. But we're not actually going to be heading out now. So we're going to head back down. Level 33. Not bad, although we will become a lot more effective in combat once we finally hit level 100 in chanting, and then more effective yet when we hit level 100 in smithing. Again, because the level 100 smithing perk lets you make dragon gear. And the uh, level 100 enchanting perk lets you put two enchantments on the same item, which means that you get roughly uh, double the amount of, chant uh, of enchantedness that you normally uh, have. Okay, so there is a lot of junk here. Let's just pull anything that we don't want to take out of the way, because I'm tired of picking up stuff that I need to sort out of my inventory later. So I mentioned the, uh, the Dwemer. <clears throat> when they found these, uh, these guys and uh, killed them, they were probably a little bit weirded out by the Skuma, maybe. And well, maybe they're... Uh, not being particularly intelligent anymore. They might be weirded out by a lot of things. Anyhow, let's keep on moving. Oop, some more alchemy stuff. And I am hearing some clattery stuff, so there might be more uh, Karai somewhere around here. And yes, it is kind of nasty to be picking up human flesh, although the game really isn't super clear what counts as a human for its uh, purposes, but... Uh, 
let's see, in our right hand we have a bound sword, in our left hand we're gonna keep muffle. Uh huh, so there is a path down. And there are some <coughs> some Dwemer waiting down there. So I do want to keep on working on my summoning skill. So let's uh, see if I can have a Frost Atronach take care of some of these guys. I'm not hitting Jazargo too much with uh, Okay. Looking good. Jazargo is still alive. Spiders down here, or at least there presumably have been spiders at some point. Nothing interesting in there. There's another Dway, Dway, or uh, Thelmer that we probably didn't loot yet. Did I see? No, I thought I saw a red dot over there. Looks like a trap. Let me show you another thing that you can do with traps. You can summon a uh, buddy right onto them. Your buddy will get killed, but... And that is a pretty nasty trap. Although in real life, I would hope that people would be uh, smart enough not to actually get near that, but... That would be a pretty nasty way to go. Although I wonder how much force they, uh, somebody could actually get one of those things to deliver. It's particularly weird because it manages to pull itself back after scoring a hit. That seems kind of improbable for a trap like that. <clears throat> okay. And that looks... those look like floor plates that are going to do something. I think I saw a Dwemer or a Thalmer over there. So, if we have a sense of humor, we might be able to summon. Let's see what these these plates do. Aha! They swing around like that, which makes them kind of dangerous to me. Let's see if I can creep past it. Yes. And we'll summon that guy to head over there and play with the Falmer Skulker. And I'm learning I really need more Magicka because I had to wait before I could uh, before, I, before I could summon my weapon here. As well, I'll pick up another one of these in case I sw swap followers at some later point. And this is a gigantic open area with a big roof. Okay. It's kind of pretty. And there are Felmer here. So, again, let's have uh, I'm heroically holding back.
and captured yet another soul. So probably by the time, uh, time I next make it uh, to the surface, I will be ready to do all sorts of crazy leveling of enchanting. Might not take me to a hundred, but hopefully I'm not too far off. And more alchemy stuff. I've also been a little bit lax in selling my uh, my potions. So I'll, I'll have to do that. And these are... It's a gate that I can't open directly. There are stairs up here, so we're going to head up. I don't think I, I have a Fortify Alchemy thing yet, so that was a good thing to pick up. And that opened the gate. Uh, Jazargo, where are you? Oh, okay, you ran up there, not back yet. Get the feeling that... Okay. That seems like it would be a good place to hide a chest. So because of the way that the uh, the game scales challenge, the locations of things often change a little bit from run to run. So you can't completely rely on your memory for where things are. Which is good because it increases the replay value. Aha! That is one of those... And actually, I'm going to do something that you haven't seen me do before. I'm going to buff and heal my ally. But I do need a little bit more magicka to do so. So I'm going to grab some potions. There is another one of those guys over there. So I'll switch back to Bound Bow and uh, actually I'll switch back to Muffle and Contour uh, Frost Atronach. <clears throat> and we will head up the stairs. Let's see what's heading on, what's going on over here. There is a chest here. But it, it, it's empty and it's locked. Well, free uh, free leveling of lockpick, and I have 44 lockpicks left, so might as well uh, do what I can to keep leveling that. And is there another chest over here? No. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Two other adventurers that... Oh, that is not what I meant to do. Well, let's summon for them a friend. And because we don't have enough Magicka to uh, to summon bound weapons. We're gonna hop in here with a uh, 
gonna hop in here with uh, real weapons. So it looks like these are two other adventurers that had a falling out right near the end of their uh, their adventure here. Actually, this armor is pretty good, although now we're pretty full. Here's a chest, let's see. Elven Gilded Armor. That looks pretty nice. That might be a uh, suitable replacement for what I'm wearing now. So, we will activate this mechanism, but we're also going to open this gate. And I believe this is an exit, to, uh, another exit to this dungeon. So, we're going to go upstairs and unlock the upper part of it. It's interesting how we use the, uh, the word upstairs to refer, uh, to refer to things where there aren't actually any stairs. It's just become a generic word in English, apparently, for uh, to an upper level. So, we are up here, and I think you'll remember, uh, you'll recognize this place. So, we are uh, just, so this elevator just quickly takes you all the way down to that location, and then that mechanism that we activated actually then takes us down to um, uh, Blackreach which is this huge tastic cave that is a size of maybe a quarter or a third of Skyrim. Let's put our sword away. Now, Blackreach is kind of weird as an area, and that apparently somehow sunlight filters through to the extent that uh, when uh, if you happen to be a vampire and be down here, uh, you are affected by day-night cycles, which you aren't typically when you're inside. But yeah, as you can see, it's just a huge cave with giant mushrooms and uh, to lakes and rivers. There are creatures down here and it looks like we're about to, to meet one. So let's summon an ally. And uh, pull up a shield. And that actually managed to hit us despite our shield and do quite a lot of damage. Oh. Oh. There are quite a lot of uh, Thalmer down here. Another nice thing about this area is that uh, there's mining for um, for all sorts of rare uh, minerals, which is kind of nice. And Jisargo is still with us. Like here, you can get ebony ore. And ebony is one of the, um, it's an ingredient that you need for both uh, the second and third tier heavy armors. And it sells at a nice, uh, nice price too. <coughs> So Nernroot 
is uh, is a kind of shouty plant that you keep on finding in the game. And Crimson Nernroot is another variant on it. Uh, both of them, uh, there are quests uh, associated with them that give you uh, pretty nice things if you collect enough of them. But because they're, uh, they're reasonably rare and you need a decent amount of each, it's a quest that's probably going to take you a while. The story behind uh, this area is that there's a researcher that came down here to study Nernroot and, uh, and Crimson Nernroot. And I think he was killed by Falmer. You can read all about it in one of these, uh, in one of the books. Actually, let's disenchant any weapons we got that... Okay, so alchemy. And we're never going to have a use for this, but... Okay. Actually, we might as well also use the Black Star to enchant, uh, enchant something useful for ourselves. <clears throat> Elven Gilded Armor, Armor 51. That might be better than what we're wearing now. Armor 47? Yeah, it is. So we will switch to Gilded Armor and enchant it up nicely to replace that. <clears throat> and I believe that we had it enchanted for Magicka region. We're going to stick with that. it actually, because we're a better enchanter at this point, we get uh, more out of it. Now, what else do we have that would be useful? I don't know what, what we'd have that would be useful to us, but yeah, nothing that looks that, uh, that amazing. So, we're just going to burn through... Uh, 44, 169 for archery, that might be the best that we can do. 171 for two-handed. Okay, well, that's nice. So we'll get some experience and use up some of these uh, soul gems. For boots, oh, well that's weird. You can get boots that improve your two-handed uh, damage. I guess it could improve your stance or something. <clears throat> 692 for destruction. Is there anything better than that? No. Okay, Fortify Destruction is the most valuable enchantment for armor that we can manage right now. For a steel helmet, I think archery is probably the best. And, um... Might as well enchant one of these uh, necklaces, maybe both of them. Usually. So we could could do smithing or alchemy. That would be useful. Actually, if we're going to make something we're going to use, we should probably... <clears throat> probably use our, our grand soul gem here. So... So good. Let's see, do we have two craft necklaces right now? 
Oh yeah, yeah. So we have the old one we made that's only twenty percent, and now we have the new one we made that's twenty three percent. Oh, and we have an even older one we made that's thirteen percent. So yeah, we're gonna want to sell some of those at some point. And actually, I think we have spare necklaces, so we might as well enchant these other two just for some uh, free experience. Alchemy Archery at 214. Two nineteen for two handed. So two handed is really a pretty valuable enchantment. And this is why um, occasionally you'll see enchantments on items in a uh, in a store. Oh, you know, maybe I should have tried to improve some of this stuff before enchanting it. Oh well. Jizako has heard of the staff of Magnus. Once you are done with it, perhaps you will allow Jazargo to borrow it. Maybe. Lead on, friend. <clears throat> and this is the corpse of the dude. Yeah, if you read his field journal here, you'll you'll get the whole story. about how he came down here to do research, and he's hoping that the denizens will not hurt him, which is a very foolish wish when the Felmer are involved. Did I open this? Yeah, I did open this chest. And I picked up another enchant, uh, or another necklace. Again, might as well enchant it while I'm down here. Oh, right on the edge of Do I have anything else. Well, I think I might actually be low on left rings. Oh, but I, I picked up an iron dagger. Okay, one more enchantment and then we're out of here. <clears throat> and I uh, can't remember if it was Soul Trap or... Do I have Paralyze yet? Maybe fear. Is that worth more? Yeah, fear is worth more. And that gets me a level. Sweet. And I will spend this level on Magicka. And let's see, I've already maxed that out. So I could do Corpus Enchanter which would pave the way for my getting uh, dual enchanting not too long. Or could probably improve sneak. Can't do anything directly useful with speech at this time. But this gets me closer to... Do I have? No, I, I need this first. Quiet casting is just too useful. I, I want to take care of that before I... Um, before it gets too late in the game. And let's quickly dig through alchemy to see see what I can do with it. So I'm almost done collecting those uh, those quest ingredients. And I don't yet have a set of alchemy gear. At some point I'll have to get uh, get one. Actually, I don't think I will do alchem uh, alchemy now, because I, I have a bunch of recipes that I haven't uh, used yet. And by recipes, I mean sheets of paper with recipes on them. And I would prefer to actually uh, 
head back home and to grab my stuff and try to learn those recipes before I um, before I go too, too much further. Now if you collect... Oh, that sounds... Okay, we're in combat. I'm not sure what with yet. But we'll summon a Frost Atronaut. Let's put this in our left hand. And a Bound Bow, I guess, in our right hand. Oh, uh... So yeah, if we collect 20 of these Nurn Root, I think... I still don't have enough Magicka to summon and then immediately, uh... Darn it. Okay, that didn't go too badly. And this... Oh, am I still in combat? No, just the music hasn't changed back yet. This is another one of those elevators. And basically, you want to unlock as many of these as you can, because they'll just keep on opening options for you when it comes to... Uh, coming down here. And you are, uh, there are a lot of really neat areas down uh, down here to see, and um, there are a few quests that reference the area, although I get the feeling the area was probably added late in uh, the development of Skyrim. It's not as uh, useful as you would think it is for a place that's so awesome. Actually, we are up to... we're pretty burdened uh, right now. So we're going to... I think we will uh, head back to Rift and sell some of this, uh, this stuff and then come right back. Just because otherwise we're going to have to start passing st uh, some good stuff up. So yeah, I love hanging out down in Blackreach. There's a a lot of plot, and if you if you find the um, story elements of the Dwemer to be interesting, and I do, then there's a lot of great backstory that you can see down there. <clears throat> the game is chock full of um, of books that go into all uh, all the fun details of the lore of the series. I think some of them are imported from prior games, and they're not completely consistent with each other, but neither is real history. So let's see if Bellamond is still glitched. Okay, so we're arriving in the evening. <clears throat> so let's, he should be showing up by 9.30 tomorrow morning, I think. <clears throat> it seems kind of improbable to, uh, improbable to me that uh, the towns would actually have an open smithy like this. Like, I would think that people would be worried about um, tools getting stolen, or people horsing around, or just some some fool accidentally falling into the furnace. You in town, eh? Only the best. Started out with a... Too bad I haven't had the same success helping this year. I saw my... The only untapped market left. You're headed that way. I would appreciate you. Good. Huh. The clever will pay you as soon as you arrive with the left. Here you are. Did you get that purchase agreement to Markart? How could I have? 
Oh, it's possible that that Bellman's death. It's possible that resurrecting him. If you're looking for a handout, did you get that purchase agreement to Mark? Hmm? What do you want? <sighs> what a boring conversation. <laughs> Indeed. It's possible that uh, that he might that re uh, resurrecting him wasn't. It didn't stick. In which case, he might be gone for good. Which is a pity, because I would have liked to have uh, relied on him what do you need, my to level uh, smithing more. Greetings, honored friend. Oh yeah, so we're going to put on our sales amulet. Could I interest you in some fine and jewelry? see if we can sell some of the jewelry that we don't need uh, to him. Okay, so this is one of our older crafting necklaces. This is our until most recent one. Okay. Safe travels, Strider. <clears throat> you gonna buy something? Everything I've got on display, really. Definitely don't need that or this. And she can't afford Come that. When you're ready to spend more gold. Yeah, it looks like he, he just might be gone for good. So I'm going to drop off the Felmer uh, helmet and anything else that I don't need right now. And I'll find some other place to sell my stuff and maybe uh, maybe level some skills. It's really useful when you find somebody who's both willing to buy and sell stuff and train you because it makes the management of uh, gold uh, that much that much easier. So that, that's an interesting, unique item that we just put away. Unfortunately, it's not that strong of a shield, otherwise I would consider using it. So actually, I probably don't need to keep collecting these. I might only need one of them, because I'm probably not going to... Um, start using it until I'm already uh, have my alchemy and smithing skills closer to being maxed out. Oh yeah, I, I don't want to... I do want to keep the crimson uh, nurn root on me. And data hearts, you can use them for uh, alchemy, but they're just too rare. So I tend not to. Since they're also useful for smithing. Unless I'm sure that I'm never going to be uh, smithing that stuff. But even then, I, I would rather than save them for later on in the game when I have uh, when I have my alchemy at 100 and I'm making stuff I'm actually going to use in endgame. And let's put any crafting stuff Oh, actually, did I ask Jizargo to carry anything? Oh, no, 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 don't. No, don't go. No, no. Okay, good. Good. Jizargo only has so much room to carry things. Okay, that's good. I did not mean to dismiss him. Kajit will follow. So we're going to put our dragon bones away. And our ingots. 
did not mean to pick that up, but... Do I still need a Horker Tusk? Or I might have already finished whatever quest it was that seemed to need that. I did not mean to pick up a saw. And I can put Space Core away. And that unusual gem, unfortunately, I can't put it down. And actually, let's put any unneeded books on our bookshelf. So we've got the weight of the stuff that we have down, but we do want to uh, sell some of the uh, the gear that we have. So it is a little bit disappointing that giants don't uh, end up talking in the game, since we do know that they have a language, or at least uh, that they had a language. But largely, they just seem uh, to want to be left alone in their uh, in their camps. <clears throat> Unfortunately for them, their toes happen to be uh, really good for alchemy. But the game has a number of uh, of critters where you where you feel a little bit sorry for them, and I do not spend much time in Windhelm. One of the unfortunate things about that, though, is that it has some of the best uh, background music in the game. But I'm just I'm not a fan of Ulfric, uh Stormcloak or his Rebellion. I spend a little bit more time in there once I've advanced the uh, Legionnaire's quest and defeated his uh, his side of the battle. Oh, or I'm sorry, de defeated uh, his side in the Civil War. That is a goofy helmet, and the spikes are not pointed uh, pointed in a way that's particularly useful. Well, I guess they're mainly there for appearance. Are there no eye holes? I hope that there's at least a, a pinprick eye hole there for people to see out of, otherwise it's not a particularly useful helmet. Okay, and the smithy is over here. But it's closed for now. Actually, I probably should have grabbed some more from my house. <clears throat> to see him up close. Jorland Greymane. If that makes any sense. Uh, don't let my words cut you to it. Jarl wants it to look getting the real sword would be if you find that sword traveler. Okay. The finest weapons and arms. It's another quest and let's uh sell off the stuff that we don't need. Hmm. Now we are going to want to make a detour somewhere to do uh, what 
what training uh, we can somewhere. And because we do want to try and sell off as much of this as we can, I'm going to buy some smithing materials and actually do some smithing uh, while I'm here. So, iron ore, conundrum ingot, I don't think... Actually, dwarf ingot is not a good thing for me to buy. And some of that stuff was pretty expensive, so he now has a good amount of money to buy the rest of the stuff. Okay. And, uh, looking good. And I'm going to put on my crafting gear. misnamed as some of it is and see what I can make you find Queen sword. I'll reward you. so you use my good no. oh I put all my leather away looking to protect yourself or deal some damage I Okay, so Imperial Armor is worth 100, and but it takes a lot of steel. Would be better not to need to do that. Studded Armor is worth 75. Steel Armor, Skilled Armor, it's not too bad. It takes a little bit of everything, and it's worth uh, quite a lot. So again, you get experience based on... This looks like a pretty good deal. You get experience by, uh, based on the value of what you're crafting. So steel plate helmets worth 300. Steel plate armor is worth uh, 625. So steel plate armor, I think, is probably a better um, better deal. Let's see if I can improve this. Oh, I don't like Ulfric. Don't. And this takes Conundrum Ingot to craft. Okay, so what else can I, uh, can I do? And I think I'm out of Moonstone, so... But I'm right on the edge of, uh, of another level, so I would kind of like to... Okay. That's... I think there was a leather working thing over here. Maybe I can make some, uh some new uh, carrying gear. Leather big belt bag, maybe. And uh, even if so I think we're, we're done with the uh, smithing stuff, so let's take our crafting necklaces and stuff back off. And get back into our... Huh, 
I thought I crafted another... Oh well. Um... Let's see if we can get some of that. Uh... Oh yeah, actually we can enchant this stuff before selling it. So there's a an enchanting table back here. Unfortunately, this enchanting table is a little bit too close to that NPC, so she yammers at you the whole time. If you're looking to get a drink, candle her holes got warm fires and strong ale. So, uh, what was it? Was it quickly. destruction or? Make it quick. Yeah, so she she just chatters at you continually while while you're doing this. Which is kinda irritating, but what can you do? Apart from just trying to get through this as quickly as possible. Okay, now that we've enchanted all that stuff up nicely, move, move. I made my fortune as a seeker, but now I'm retired. Need some hmm. Blades, helmets. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, so now we're back near where we were uh, when we started. And we got some good enchanting done. And now we're going to figure out where we should go to... I guess we'll head up to the college. There's always some uh, magic training to do. And uh, some of the types of, uh, some of the schools of magic, you're going to have, have a tough time actually training them up to a useful level in, uh, in combat, because they're just not things you're going to want to uh, cast quite that often. Or they offer uh, not a lot of experience per cast. Like the candlelight spell that I'm casting, I think it's a, an apprentice or novice level spell. So I could be casting it throughout the whole uh, whole game and get barely any experience uh, from it, which is fine. But there are a few other things in that school that I would like to uh, I would like to be able to cast that require me to be at a higher level before I can buy them. So if I really want to have a chance to do that, I'm going to need to uh, train them up with a trainer. Or I'll have to get some uh, spells that I'd really rather not use and to use those uh, to train. I'm not asking your permission. So you have to find some staff now? I don't see the point of that. It looks like Jazargo might be back to his fitness routine. I think this is, again, the room that was allocated to me. It has been restocked. They keep all the wizards nicely drunk. Let's see. Nothing else to, that's really needed here. Where is... Um, do I have his Alembic? Yes, I do. So, and there is Tolfdir. Ah, yes, there it is. Thank you so much. A little bit more gold and another petty soldier. Take care now. And let's head upstairs. Have you managed to track down the suit or the staff of Magnus? No, I the exact as a matter of fact, I had re Oh, that's I right. Refusing to deliver. Could you perhaps speak with him and see if we can come to some sort of arrangement? I do wish that Jazargo would figure out some way not to uh, bother me with his fitness routine. Move. Um, I want to 
find a trainer of some sort. I don't think anyone here. No, he's he's the one who needs things collected. So I'm just gonna pop outside and I will continue uh, the search for a trainer in the next episode. So I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Skyrim.